Hello everyone this is Kedar here today Microsoft is announcing the latest Windows Insider preview build 22518 to the developer channel there are a couple of new interesting things in this build 22518 so without further ado let's explore them all now if you head over to your Microsoft store and now you can install the WSL right from the Microsoft store by the way it's the same WSL that you know just the different delivery mechanism for new users to get started with WSL in the Microsoft store is really easy you can simply install WSL in one click and here you can see it install the WSL like this but you need a Linux distro to get it working properly. So right from the Microsoft store, you can download any Linux distro. I'll go for the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Then you can go into the start menu and turn Windows feature on or off. And then turn on your Hyper-V feature to get it working properly. Now WSL and Ubuntu is available. Opening Ubuntu, you can see it is installing and it works now. The next one is really beautiful change. If you want to keep your desktop fresh and inspiring, with the spotlight collection you can get new beautiful desktop pictures from around the world every day. So right click onto your desktop and choose personalize. On the personalization settings page, choose the background. Under the personalize your background drop down, select spotlight collection. After enabling the spotlight collection, you'll see inspiring pictures from Whitehaven Beach in Australia on your desktop. Also on to the top right corner of your desktop, you can see there is a spotlight icon. Hovering onto this icon, you can see the description of the picture. Double clicking on this icon will head over to the source of the image and about the description of it. It would have been much pleasing if I can able to change the picture after I click on to this spotlight icon. By the way, you can have this spotlight for lock screens as well. So you can see here going into the personalization right into the lock screen, you can enable this spotlight for your lock screens as well. After some time, the image did change automatically. So that's a really neat feature of this spotlight collection. Right clicking onto the spotlight icon, you can switch to the next picture. You can like the picture. To keep your desktop fresh and inspiring, this is a really nice change. The next one is updated entry point for your widgets on your taskbar. Well, I get it. This is a great way to enter into your widgets. But honestly, the collection of widgets is truly lacking the need of even opening the widgets panel. Things like CPU or GPU usage, it could have been integrated into the widgets and that alone could have been much great reason to open up widgets panel. Next one is a voice access. Open up your settings right into the accessibility going into speech. You can turn on your voice access for the first time. It will prompt you to download speech model on the device for speech recognition. Once it's downloaded, you can choose your microphone and start using your PC with your voice. You can choose to auto start voice access next time you sign in into your PC. You can also use voice commands or keyboard shortcuts Alter Shift C and Alter Shift B to control whether voice access is listening or not listening. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one.